Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to discuss about how to design a micro strip antenna using CST. For this, at, at first we have to go to CST and we will find this window. Here we will see new template. So we have to press this one and this window will appear as we are going to design antenna. We have to go to this window microwave and RF and optical. Yeah, after clicking this window, we will find the antennas option. So after clicking this antenna, we will find these ty different types of antennas are here. We have to select planar antenna. Here uh, you can select the time domain, frequency domain, and multi-layer. I suggest you to select frequency domain because, because it will reduce your simulation time. Next. And here we will set the dimensions, frequency, etc. <coughs> Here you can select centimeter, millimeter, meter, or micrometer uh, as per your requirement. And the frequency, as per your requirement, you can select any frequencies kilohertz, megahertz, gigahertz, terahertz, etc. You don't need to change other parameters. So let us move on. Here you have to put the frequencies as I would like to design. Uh, 10 and antenna having operability at 10 gigahertz here i will give the frequency 8 gigahertz to 12 gigahertz here you can uh, select all these observation monitoring options and you, here you can add other frequencies if you want to observe the properties at a certain frequencies so you can add any frequencies just by putting the number and semicolon like that or you can also add uh, any frequencies with decimal numbers for example 10.2 okay just put semicolon as a separator so move, let us move to next next finish here is our designing window So for convenience of your work, it is better to uh, uncheck this bounding box and uh, click on the front view. So uh, let us begin for a starting point. We have to, before I start, I would like to say that as we know, basically there are three layers in a micro strip patch antenna. One is ground layer, another is substrate layer and uh, another layer is patch layer so here substrate is uh, sandwich in between patch and ground so let us start with ground just click on the bricks and escape in your keyboard uh, so we are going to design at first ground. We are going on the ground. So here we will add the dimensions. Minus nine to plus nine. <coughs> The thickness of the ground layer is 0 0.018. Okay, here we will select the material. Our ground material is copper. So we'll select any copper here as it is lossy material. Okay, load. You can see the preview here. This is the preview of our ground layer. Then the press OK. So this is the first layer, namely ground layer. You can check it here, the component, the ground. After that, um, we'll design substrate. So similarly, we'll go to brick and escape 
key from your keyboard and I substrate. So our substrate will be same as the ground. So it will be nine to nine. minus nine to nine here we know that the thickness of the ground layer 0 0.018 and this layer will be placed on the substrate layer will be placed on this ground layer so uh, our substrate thickness is 0 0.8 so the dimension will be 0 0.818 here we will use tablon as substrate so we have we, we need to load the tablet material from material library here we will not find any tablet material so we need to use pt f e this is equivalent to tablet material so lossy we here we see that epsilon is 2.1 we can change it we can change any value electric tangent tangent value can also be changed so as, as per our material used in the lab so i will show you how to change this below first we have to load it so we load this uh, material here and you can see the preview here is the preview uh, press ok to create the material so we find two material or two layer one is ground another is substrate for substrate you can add the material properties here material go to material properties and just uh, we like to change the epsilon value to uh, we like to use 2.15 so here it is then apply okay so our job is done for substrate our next aim is to place the patch layer over the substrate layer so uh, as we already did previously we have to select the brick and escape button then we will write the patch here uh, the dimension of the patch is determined by using a process in my next video that i will show how to determine the patch of micro strip rectangular or a square antenna or initial dimension of any antenna using some basic equations so let us continue now the current work our patch dimension is minus five to five this is the width the length is minus four point eight five to four point eight five and here we know already we have to place it above the substrate layer so our substrate is at a position of 0.818 so our the thickness of our patch layer will be 0.018 as far as the ground layer so the total get maximum will be 0 0.836 here we need to select the material already the material cover and it is available here we can see the preview here, so this is the preview of our patch layer we, ju we just need to press ok to create this layer so here we get three layer next our target is to use fit line for fit line we need to uh, fit line is very important because by using fit line we need to acquire impedance matching so we need to use a lambda by 4 transformer at first i would like to design the fit line now for if designing fit line you have to use some equations what you can done by using C this cst in one of my next video i will show you how to design the uh, how to acquire the dimension of the fit line so here we continue our present video So for fit line, we have to give maximum uh, minus 1.2 to plus 1.2. Why minimum minus 92? 
minus seven point eight. So here it is zero point eight one eight to zero point eight three six. This copper. So here is the fit line. Press OK to create. So our fit line is created. And next we need to create. Lambda by four transformer. For this, you have to press here and step button transformer. Transformer minus zero point one eight two point one eight. Minus seven point eight two minus zero point minus four point eight five zero point eight one eight two zero point eight three six. So it is again copper material. You can Check the preview here. So it connects the patch with the fit line. So press OK to create. So this is our fit line. What we need to do, do is that we have to merge patch substrate and trans patch transformer and fit line. At first, I would like to merge fit line with uh, transformer. So fit line merge transformer. Just need to add. So here is the fit line, and we need to we need to match patch with fit line. So select patch, then fit, select patch, then fit line, and select boolean at. So this is the patch here. It show fit line. It's not a problem at all. You can rewrite it as patch. Rename it as patch here. So this is the patch. This is ground. This is substrate. And so our primary step of creating material is finished. What we need now is to provide the port. So for providing port, port, uh, we need to move this. For this, we have to press on this button, active the rotate mode, and now we can rotate it easily to pick the face of the feed line. We need to move it, and we can zoom it by using the scrolling button of the mouse of our mouse. Then what we need to do is to pick the face. So here, pick face option. We need to pick the face. If this color appeared in the in the face of the fit line, that means it is selected. So after that. What we need to do is that we need to go to home and macros, and then solver. We have to go to the port and calculate port extension coefficient. Here, other values are already available. What we need to do is that calculate. So this is the port extension coefficient, and here the option name the construct port from pick face. So you can select it easily. And the port is will automatically build up. Then you can close this window. That is how we'll get our port. So we can check where is the port. Here is the port. So this is the port. So we can check the overall antenna here. We can move it freely by selecting prospective view. Here it is prospecting view. We can select it easy. We can move it randomly and see what is going on. So this is our antenna. Our next step is to save it. Just save it. I would like to save it in D drive. So here it is. A, it is a 10 gigahertz antenna. 10 gigahertz. So save it here. So our next step is very simple. We need to simulate it. I start simulation.
it takes some time that is why i would like to force my recording for some time so here the simulation have accomplished now we will check the result here is the s parameter here we see it is perfectly matched with 10 gigahertz so the center frequency of this antenna is 10 gigahertz here we see the reference impedance the reference impedance at 10 gigahertz is 50 um, <clears throat> it is very essential to get 50 gigahertz and in our next video we will analyze the result of this antenna in every aspects like gain directivity axial ratio etc hopefully you enjoy this video and this video will help you to get the initial simulation idea initially how can accustomed with using cst thank you very much